Hey guys, so the last time you saw me, my hair was not this color. As you can see, I am back to platinum white blonde. It's so pretty. It's not gonna last long. I'm going to be dyeing my hair rainbow again, but with a different pattern of rainbow. So I posted on my Instagram showing you guys that I was trying something new to remove the color and it had no bleach in it. And I showed you guys the before and afters of what it did to my hair in 30 minutes and it was insane. I got so many messages on Instagram asking me what I did, what I used. And so I decided that I would make a video showing you guys what I did to my hair, but doing it on my extensions because obviously I need my extensions to be the same color as my hair for when I dye it rainbow. I'll put up a few pictures on the screen of what my hair looked like before. And obviously you guys can see what it looks like now. I did not tone it or do anything. I literally just did this treatment and this is what it made my hair look like from this to this. It's insane in 30 minutes. I've never experienced anything like it. I'll probably be doing this treatment from now on if I need to remove color because it worked so well. So let's go ahead and get into the treatment. These are my Bellamy extensions and I have tried to fade these out quite a bit using dandruff shampoo, dish soap. I've tried everything to fade these out as much as possible and they have faded a lot, but obviously not nearly as much as my hair. So I need to get these back to a pale yellow color so that way I can dye them whenever I dye my hair. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the ingredients of the mixture. There are only five ingredients to this. So what you're gonna need is Dawn dish soap soap. I put anti-dandruff shampoo in mine. You don't have to put this in there, but I decided to put it in there anyway. Purple shampoo. I got this from Sally's. It is just the generic brand and it's compared to shimmer lights. Baking soda. And the last ingredient is 10 volume developer. You can do this with 20 volume, but I chose 10 volume because I don't want to damage the hair anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up. I'll show you guys the ratio what I use because I just eyeball it, I don't measure anything. I would say about a cup of purple shampoo. So for the anti-dandruff shampoo, I don't add in as much as the purple shampoo. Also, these ratios are going to vary depending on the length and thickness of your hair. So next, I'm just going to put in my Dawn dish soap. Then I'm going to put in my baking soda. I'm gonna mix all of this up, and once I have it mixed up, I'll go ahead and add my 10 volume. And then the last thing I'm going to add in is my 10 volume developer, and I don't add very much of this in at all. That's all I add in, so just like a splash of 10 volume developer. I'm obviously gonna have to make more of this to do all of my extensions, but I just wanted to show you like about the ratios of how I mix it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the camera down so you can see me putting this on my extensions. So I'm just working the product in. You wanna make sure you really get in there and saturate the hair and make sure you got every piece of hair so that way it turns out even and it removes all the color throughout the whole hair. So here's one piece of extension done, so I'm just gonna place it in the bowl. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the rest of my extensions and I will come back once I'm done applying them. All right guys, so I am back. I got everything applied and they're just sitting in this bowl now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put them into a plastic bag, wrap them in a towel to try and like contain some of the heat, and then I'm going to let them process for 30 minutes and I'll come back to you guys and we'll see what they look like. Okay guys, so I am back. I let the treatment sit on for a little bit more than 30 minutes. It was probably like 30 to 50 minutes, somewhere in there. Here are my extensions. They're back to being super blonde. It took out almost all of the color. If I separate the top, you can still see a little bit of pink showing through, but for the most part, it did an amazing job. 
and it tones them too. That's what I like most about this is because whenever you do this, it tones the hair as well as removing color. So you don't have to worry about having super yellow extensions afterward. They're already like a really pretty cool ashy blonde color. This definitely does damage your hair a little bit. So I would definitely use a deep conditioning treatment or like a repairing mask or products that will repair your hair afterwards because the hair does feel a little bit dry, especially like on the ends right here, it feels pretty dry. So I did do a deep conditioning treatment on these and I left it on for like an hour. So that helped definitely repair the hair a little bit. So as you guys know, this worked really well on my natural hair as well as on my extensions. But I will say just because it worked on my hair doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work on your hair because I probably use different colors. My hair was also this blonde underneath the colors I had. So of course it's gonna go back to what was underneath all of the colors. Same thing with these extensions. They were only ever dyed one time. So if you have extensions that have been dyed multiple times, you never know if the color is gonna come out. I think that's why the color came out so well on these is because I literally only dyed them one time. So there wasn't a lot of buildup of dye on the hair. That is it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I always post way more of my day-to-day -day life on there. I also let you guys decide what hair colors I do, and I take a lot of polls on there, deciding what happens on this channel. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.